Father, I ask you to anoint this. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen. What came to my mind was lemon juice. I believe God is saying to somebody out there, I will turn your lemons into lemon juice. I will turn, you know how the, uh, uh, this is Pat's Two Cents, you know how the cars, they have this new law, the lemon law, and uh, if uh, too many things break down at one time, you can turn the car in and, you know. Well, I believe God is saying, even if it looks like your life has turned out to be a lemon, if your relationship has turned out to be a lemon, if your marriage has turned out to be a lemon, if your job has turned out to be a lemon, if your financial situation has turned out to be a lemon, if your body has turned out to be a lemon, God will use it, bless it, and turn it into lemon juice. It will turn around and become a blessing. But you must keep your trust in God. Right in through here, when it's the most difficult, keep your trust in God. That's why the Bible says he will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. Not on the problem, not focused on the pain, not n n n not pondering on the inconveniences and the setbacks. Focused on him. Stay focused. Focus on him, please. You've got to do that. You owe it to yourself to do so. God knows what he's doing. God is very much in control. And when you can't see him, he is very, very near. You know, one thing I can honestly say, in all the trials I have ever gone through in my life, and some were extremely, excruciatingly painful, that's when God was the nearest. That's when I knew I wasn't alone. I could always run to him. I could always cry to him. I could always ask him to give me an encouraging scripture. And he would lead me to a scripture I may not know what it had anything to, to, to do with and when I would start reading it, the chapter the, the, the book the chapter, the verse I would be amazed, I would be shocked that God could lead me to a scripture that explicitly described the mess I was going through the quandary I was in the frustration I was feeling, the pain I was enduring. God would always let me know that he knew what I was going through, that I was not in my mess alone. My lemons have all turned out to be lemon juice. The adulterous husband, that marriage didn't last. But God in that experience taught me how he could take the pain out of me while I was still in a painful situation. He taught me how to forgive. He taught me how to love in spite of. God will turn your lemons into lemon juice. Take my word for it. When I was the one of the darkest periods in my life, when I was losing my house in foreclosure, and God began to start conversations and 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 a woman prophetically speaks into me saying, Do you know God could have a whole new world out there? Not knowing that I spent two hours crying out to God asking him, Where is my whole new world? When how when I how long is this gonna go on? How long is this gonna hurt so badly? And I'm telling you, God turned my lemon into lemon juice. I lost a house that was built in 1948 with leaks all throughout the, the roof that had been leaking for decades. Windows that were rotted shut because they were so uh, swelled up, the wood was so rotten, the windows couldn't open. Listen to what I'm saying. Things wouldn't work here and things wouldn't work there and we had to deal with what wasn't working and we had to use a fireplace because we didn't have heat any longer. I mean, it was crazy. 
But let me tell you this. God moved me here to a whole new city that I never would have dreamed of moving to. Moved me into a house that was almost twice as big as the house I left. And only about one-fifth of the age. So this house was 20-something years old, barely over 20 years old. That house was almost 80 years old. And what God did was turn things around for me. He got us into a house that only cost $68,000, 1,408 square foot. That house over there was 900. This was a young house, well built in a senior gated community. God will take your lemon and turn it into lemonade lemon juice, whichever you want to call it. He will bless it. But you have to keep your trust. Even in your frustration with him, keep your trust in him. God bless you. He's due to trust.